My name is Martin Stigward, the director of tennis here at ETSU. I'm the head uh, men's tennis coach. Grew up in Quito, Ecuador. That's where I'm from. That's where my family is. Obviously, with tennis, you travel around a lot. So since I was 11 years old or so, I was traveling around South America quite a bit. I have a very international roster, as we've always had here. I have four Venezuelans. I have a guy from Ecuador, Colombia, Argentina. I have a guy from Egypt. And uh, this year, I had a guy from England as well. For kids to, to leave their home country and go study internationally, it's not easy. In South America, you know, we grow up with, with maids, you know, with, with people that help you. So when they come here and they have to do everything for themselves, and you have to go to school, different language, and you have to practice tennis, and you have to travel, it gets overwhelming. Like I said, being a small team, everybody wanting to play, I think they take it very personally when someone's just not doing their part. Our team GPA is 3-2-7 this year. We've always been above 3-2 or 3-3. These are guys that when they came, they could speak very little English. And to see them get such high GPAs, is, is, it's, it's outstanding. It's not about coming here and just playing tennis and, and then having fun. They are balanced their time really well. Yeah, COVID was bad for everybody, right? I mean, you had the Ivies not playing, you had the Big Ten just competing within their own conference. Some kids opting out, injuries. I've never seen so many injuries across the country like this year. It was a struggle. I mean, there was a point in time where, uh, you know, before we played Greensboro, I was practicing with like four guys out of 10 and all injuries. And I remember telling Scott, I said, you know, I might lose my first conference match here because I just don't have a full roster. So we started the year on five, right? And to me, I, it wasn't terrible because of the schedule we were playing. We, were playing. we played everything away. And with the team we had, I think we were competing really hard. Then, like I said, Greensboro came up and, you know, that was our first outdoor match away. and. We had so many injuries, but when we pulled that win, I was like, I felt a lot better, and then we started winning a lot. There's so many emotions that day from, obviously, relief because of everything that we've been through, but the emotion was huge. I think it meant so much just because of what we had this year. And to then have an opportunity to keep going in the tournament and to see Dimitri keep racking up points to possibly get into NCAAs, which he did, was, was really nice. Since I've been here, all my regular seasons, all my conference tournaments, we've never lost a match either in conference play. To be able to win every year, you know, that doesn't come often. We have a great product to show. I mean, we compete with the best of the best in the country. Not a lot of programs can do that at mid-majors. I think next year could be a really special year, so I'm just hoping people take notice and they come and watch these guys because they truly, truly put a lot of effort to play for this school.